maybe I don't come across to some people as an academic, but I've presented at international conferences. I have been a teaching assistant and chaired SFU's Sociology and Anthropology Graduate Student Association. I have taken advantage of the many instructional training opportunities offered to SFU graduate students. They have helped me gain more confidence as a teacher and improved my public speaking skills. I'm one of the few scholars who are studying sneaker culture and my project shows how relevant social science research can be contemporary, innovative, and fun. I first came to SFU as an international exchange student a few years ago and uh, I really enjoyed it. I loved it so much that I never left and I'm now a PhD student. I am part of the SFU Rugby Club. I was a former player and now a coach and that's kind of how I got into concussion research. SFU conducts world-class research in biomedical engineering. Working with the support of my supervisor, Dr. Ryan Darcy, I'm developing portable brain scanning techniques to assess concussions. This technology is exciting because it's really the only technology of its kind in the world. SFU is a really beautiful place to work and also I feel that the university shares a lot of my own values. Plus, Vancouver is one of the best places on earth to be a queer person. I care a lot about science communication, and by seeking out opportunities to develop my speaking skills, I now have the ability to really engage an audience. I literally study fire ants. Insects communicate in ways that are completely different from pretty much all other animals, and to me they're like real world aliens. Even if you don't want to become a professor, you can make your graduate program whatever you want it to be.